Hey guys, welcome to part one of the RPG combat tutorial. In this series, I'm going to be covering the different mechanics concerning combat. So, damage from the player, damaging enemies, receiving damage, debuffs, and whatnot. So, I'm going to be covering specifics as dodging, parrying, um, critical strikes, and different stats like that. All these stats that are usually calculated into RPGs. So in our later tutorials, we'll cover things like um, debuffs and more complex stuff. So if you um, get a debuff that's something like a fire debuff, it might tick for five damage every second or something like that for 10 seconds. And then you could also do slowing down abilities with ice and different stuff along those lines. And we can also talk about weapon attack speed and weapon um, armor penetration. That way if someone has higher armor and you're a melee class you can deal more damage. And we can talk about spell casting effects, spell resist, and different stuff like that. So all of this is calculated when you're attacking an enemy. All these stats uh, need to be calculated in order to get the correct number. So in a lot of RPGs that's what they calculate out depending on what stats exist in that game. But yeah, we're just going to get started. First one we're going to go over is a dodge ability. So if you guys want to calculate out um, if your player dodged an attack or not. And this should depend on if it's a ranged or melee attack. But we'll cover that later. We just want to get the basic mechanics in here and set up. So I'm going to be keeping everything the same from the last tutorial. Um, I should probably change up this a little bit just to make it not as confusing. So our enemy can do between 15 and 20 damage. And for damage, I'm going to change this to an int. And change this from a decimal. Because I want to keep it basic. Um, not going to be using floats for this. I am going to be using floats for the, um, for the dodging, though. So we're going to be creating a variable. And this will be dodge percent. and this will be a float. And so whatever you set this to is going to be your chance that you're going to be able to dodge an attack. So if you had 50% uh, dodge, that would be half the chance that you won't take damage from an attack. Now we're going to have to change this as well. So if the player is facing backwards um, and the enemy attacks the player from behind, like in the back, um, it should always deal damage, they shouldn't be able to dodge if they're facing away from the uh, from the enemy, or a player for that matter. And that's how a lot of RPGs function. So there's no way you can really dodge if you're not directly staring at your enemy. So for this, dodge percent is going to be for the character stat. We're going to go down here, we're going to create a, another dodge calculation. And this will be a variable, and we're going to make this, uh, let's think, um, we'll just call it random, random dodge for now. And we'll also make this a float. And we'll equal this to random.range, because we're going to be calculating this out. And we're going to make this between, I guess, 1 and 100. We also need to make this a decimal, like we did before for this one. And there we go. So every time we call this, this will be randomized to something different. And that way we can use it to see if we dodge an attack or not. So we're going to bring that down just a little bit. And we'll do if dodge percent. So this is our value up here is less than random dodge. So for this, it pretty much checks what number this is and plugs into here, and then it randomizes the number and plugs into here. And so if our dodge percent is less than this number, then we dodged. If not, then you didn't dodge. <laughs> so, yeah. So down here, um, next thing we're going to do, so if you dodged, um, we'll just do a 
debug.log and we'll just say something like you dodged an attack or else we are going to deal damage which will be this debug here. So pretty much we're just calculating out a random. Usually since we're going between 1 and 100, um, the dodge, you, you have 50% chance if we put that as 50%. So half the time you should dodge an attack. If it's higher, there should be less of a chance that um, you get hit by an enemy. So like I said before, we'll be calculating the other stats out later, but we just want to get this one set up. So we'll hit Control S to save this, and we will go test it out in our game. So it's already been applied to my main camera for now. Um, this would probably want to be on your player, though. And we'll probably have to have two different scripts, but I'll go over that later. We just want to get this calculated out and see if it works correctly. So every time I hit T, dodge an attack, I'll keep hitting T. Oh, we forgot to do one more thing really quick because I'm always going to be dodging attack. Uh, we'll set this to 50. Now you don't want to set this higher than 100 or I guess if you want to be able to dodge all the time you can change that stat. But we'll set that to 50. And we'll hit T. So you see that most of the time we do dodge an attack but sometimes we do take damage. And so we'll go back and set this for a higher number. Maybe we'll set it to 90, and we'll hit play, or bring back up our console, and we'll hit T again. And I guess this number has to be lower? Maybe I calculated that out wrong. Yeah, I guess the lower the, the dodge, okay. So we'll probably have to go and flip that around so that we can actually make a higher percent. Control S to save that and let's see if this works out properly. So now you see most of the time we do dodge an attack because it's way higher, but still some of the time it deals damage. So most of the time I am dodging an attack. So for the different classes that you implement like warriors um, or rogues, uh, dodge can be good in PvP to dodge different attacks and in PvE it can be very powerful if you're a tank and you're trying to uh, avoid damage from a um, an enemy and whatnot. So that's a basic way to set up a dodge ability. Like I said before, I'm going to be going over a lot more of these stats and we'll get a lot more complex with this system. So we're calculating from a bunch of different classes and different things like that. So stay tuned for future tutorials and see you guys later.